Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss with you about the partial derivatives under which we will cover the geometric meaning. You will see the definition, notation and illustration. But before talking about it, let us recall the derivative of one variable. We are not going to go in detail, just understanding of the geometric meaning. y is equals to f of x is a function of one variable and if we plot it on the graph, we see there is a curve. And we have seen that the def definition of derivative is represented in this manner. And uh, if we draw, we got a tangent line at a point x. And we have seen that dy by dx is nothing but represent a slope of the tangent line if you see the geometric. Now let's see what happened in function of two variable. If you see z is equals to f of x by represent the function of two variable. If you plot for that, we need an xy plane as a domain and all the z we plot on z axis right so what happened whenever we collect all the points of x y plane under the domain and we start collecting the points of z we get a surface surface any kind of surface for example i have considered one of the surface now uh, what happened that if there are so many points in the domain let us consider one point a b here i have taken x as a, a and y as a b now if we uh, and the image is here on the surface there is a point be below it and it got perpendicularly there is a height or and that height means over the surface point location so a b and that is set f of a b now for example if we fix say here y y is equals to b so when you fix y there it you got a line this side which is parallel to x axis and their y x is changing so if you start collecting all the point over the surface we get a curve right here it is just like a slice if you cut a slice out of that surface and you got to the top of that slice is a curve why because below there is one point fix which is y and only x is changing so when we got a curve here on the surface and that is a point if we draw this line which is tangent and you have already seen from the one variable discussion that tangent line to the curve represent a derivative derivative with respect to the variable which is changing so here what we are observing one is fixed which is y x is changing and uh, we we want to we are saying this line this line is nothing but it is slope of the tangent and it is represented by derivative of that function with respect to x so it's a partial derivative why because one variable is constant only with respect to other variable is to be differentiation done so uh, same thing can be represented in the other way wherein if you see if i uh, fix a here which is x and keep on changing y we are parallel to y keep on changing y and over the surface what is happening i i can trace a curve over there and here if you did beneath that curve only uh, x is fixed and y is changing if you see from this direction now this is the same scenario here i got a curve on the surface where a is fixed or x is fixed and uh, if we draw this line this blue color line which is tangent line to this red colors curve this line represents a slope and again this is a one variable um, that concept that that is a derivative but here we will not call it because there are two variable and different different differentiation is done keeping one other constant so we call it a partial derivative partial word itself is conveying a meaning that with respect to one other constant so i think geometric meaning must be clear and these two line lie on some up here you got a plane over which these two lines lie every just like over the curve there is a, a tangent line these two tangent line can create a tangent plane so over every point every point there is a tangent plane so there are so many tangents plane over here now let's go back to the definition here if you want to write down the what is the first order partial derivative this is del z by del x you can see or del f by del x it is again because partial differentiation means differentiation in the x direction so on the curve x is changing so we can say x plus h minus f of x y upon h h tending towards zero so this is again the limiting or 
uh, of that limit of that function in outputs and input so this partial derivative actually measure the rate of change of z with respect to x by keeping y constant or it is geometrically you have seen it is also known as slope of the tangent to the surface in x direction in the similar manner we can talk about the partial derivative with respect to y here what happened if this is a notation student this, del, this is known as del del z by del y and uh, otherwise we use the d d is when we have an ordinary derivative but we, we are not going to use it here so we use delta symbol here so uh, this is representing a change in the y direction x is fixed c first coordinate is fixed so it measures the change of y with respect to uh, sorry change of z with respect to y keeping x constant or it is also known as slope right so this is all the geometric now I would say the definition or limiting uh, case. Now let's see what are how we know, uh, say what are the symbols for that. So we we are interested in notation also. Now here z is equals to f of x y. There are various way to express the partial derivative. First I'll see the first order partial derivative. This either you can do by this. So fix x f of x or z of x or del f by del x or del z by del x similarly first order partial derivative with respect to y can be represented with this from f of y or del f by del y or del z by del y and in the same manner if it is to be differentiated with respect to x again so we got a double derivative so say it is called second derivative you have seen that not derivative in the with respect to one also we can talk about three derivative and fourth order derivative similarly here the second order derivative there are three second order derivative with respect to x x twice with respect to y y and this is the symbol del to z by del y2 or you can put it this fix y y and the third one is uh, for both x y here you can write that this is the second order partial derivative with respect to x and y both now uh, here we will with the help of example you'll say whether you differentiate x first and then y or y first then x the answer will be same double derivative if you open is like that once you have to perform then one more time differentiation here one with respect to y this double derivative of y means one more times with respect to y and so on so uh, let's see one example wherein we would like to find out what is the derivative of a particular function i would like to discuss in that illustration uh, all all the derivatives so here let's start now we have to find all first and second order partial derivative for this function where z is x to the power 4 minus x square y square plus y to the power 4 so first i would like to find out derivative of with respect to x now you have to remember if all the formula of one variable because wherever we are differentiating with respect to x means y is constant just like we have a derivative what is the derivative of this function d by dx of 5 of x what what do you do you write like that 5 and derivative of this is 2x so just 5 is constant here y is constant so a differentiation of x to the power 4 is 4 times x cube here i have a x here y square is a constant so constant will be written as it is differentiation of x square is 2x y square constant I don't have any x here in the third term so it is 0 so I don't get anything here 0 now see what happened when I have to differentiate z partial differentiation of z with respect to y is equals to now go back to the function again see the first entry is x to the power 4 so I got 0 here minus sign x square is a constant let it be constant differentiation of y square is 2y and you are having plus 4 times y to the power 3. So I got this is minus 2x square y plus 4y cube. That is my differentiation of with respect to partial derivative with respect to since I have asked you to find out both. So now I want to find out double derivative. First I will find the differentiation partial differentiation with respect to x twice. It means you have to differentiate already you have done one differentiation you will perform one more time so what you will do in this step you have to pick the derivative of z with respect to x so i have here 4x cube 
minus 2xy square so I got 12x square here the derivative of x is 1 so 2 is constant y square is constant so I got that answer now let's see what happened differentiation of with respect to y twice so here you want to find out what is derivative of so y y square it means you have to differentiate y twice so already differentiation of y is with us this this is differentiation of y first let me write down uh, this is minus 2x square y plus 4y cube now differentiation of y so here you are observing y is here here is y here is y minus 2x square is constant so i get minus 2x square plus 12y square that will be the answer now one more step is left that is partial differentiation of z with respect to x and y now i'll find out see if you are written written like that it means differentiation of y first you perform differentiation of x so i'm going to pick what is differentiation of x here so here what is derivative of x here it is 4x cube minus 2xy square and differentiation is with respect to y you see here only y is here this is constant so it will be 0 so it is 0 minus you can write 0 or you can skip it but differentiation of y square is 2y so 2 and 2 will multiply it become 4 and I get 4xy so I get minus 4xy as the answer I would like to check one thing here what is that I want to see what happened when I have to differentiate x and then y. What happened here? Differentiation of x, then differentiation of z with respect to y. So here differentiation of x is later. First I will pick derivative of y. What is derivative of y? Minus 2x square minus 2x square y plus 4y cube and if you see x is only here so i got the minus 4xy so you just see these two answers are same let's see one more example here i would like to take an example with z is equals to x by y now here you can write down x to the power y to the power minus 1 so first I want to find out what is del z by del x. Here x is variable. So my x differentiation is 1. So 1 by y is constant. Differentiation of x is 1. So I got 1 by y. Now let's see what is del z by del y. Del z by del y here. So here x is constant. Differentiation of y to the power minus 1. Minus 1 means y to the power n. Minus 1 y to the power minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So I got minus x to the power divided by y square. Now I want to find out what is del 2 z by del x square. So here del y del z, del, sorry not z, that is x, del z by del x. I got del by del x of 1 by y, but 1 by y is a constant, so I got 0. Similarly, you can find out derivative with respect to y twice. So here, differentiation of del by del y and then del z by del y once. So you can pick from the above uh, writing. Here it is. I'm going to write like that. Minus x. I want to write in power form. So the differentiation can be performed nicely here. Minus 2 is n. y to the power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So after simplification, this minus minus become plus 2. And here it is x. And this you can write down here below. So this way you can find out partial differentiation. Now if you want to find out what is partial differentiation of y and then x. Here what is del by del y of del z by del x. Let's see. What is del z by del x? Del z by del x is 1 by y. 1 by y means y to the power minus y. y to the power minus y means minus y to the power minus 2. That is minus 1 by y squared. So we'll take some more example in the part 2.